Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. There's all one of Scott's selections here for Sunday, July 2nd. For again, today's play of the day, quick recap what happened yesterday. We had a loss in baseball at the Astros. Team total over three and a half runs at minus 110 on BetMGM. Faded Givaldi, who had been struggling a bit lately, but unfortunately for us, he was really good on Saturday. Gave up no runs. Houston did score a couple against the bullpen, but not enough as they went under the team total. Picked up a loss. Look for a winner here on Sunday. And for today's play of the day, going back to baseball, but... We are going to switch things up a little bit and look at a player prop in a matchup between the Nationals and the Phillies taking place at around 1.35 p.m. Eastern time. And for this game, we're going to take the Phillies starting pitcher, Ranger Suarez, over 17 and a half outs at minus 125 on DraftKings. Time recording of 1 a.m. Eastern time. Cumberland's why we're going to take the over and Suarez outs here. First reason he's gone over this number quite regularly for the past month and a half. Suarez has recorded at least 18 outs in each of his last six starts. And a big reason is because Philly gives him a lot of pitches to throw. Uh, the Phillies have allowed Suarez to throw at least 99 pitches in each of his last six starts. And he's also been really good in the last month and change because in his last five starts, 33 and a third innings pitched and a 1.08 ERA. So Suarez has been rolling recently and he tends to pound the strike zone quite regularly, which should result in a couple of quick innings potentially, especially since the Nationals are very aggressive when they're at the plate. The Nationals average the fewest strikeouts per game in the league and the second fewest walks per game in the league. In other words, they tend to generate a lot of contact, and Suarez is a very uh, soft contact type pitcher where he really doesn't strike out many guys. I do think because of that, you might see a couple of really early swings in the count that might result in easy outs, and that should help preserve Suarez's pitch count throughout these six-plus innings. But if you want to look at another factor here, he already faced off against the Nationals earlier this season, and he was really good. Seven innings, one run allowed, 101 pitches thrown. So he has gone over this number once in the lone start against the Nationals earlier this year, but it really goes back to what the Nationals tend to do with the plate. Strikeouts are good as a pitcher, obviously, but when you're uh, monitoring the pitch count, you don't want that many of them because it's going to take a decent amount of pitches to actually get some strikeouts. And walks, of course, are the backbreaker because you don't want to throw a lot of pitches while letting the guy get on base. But since Washington really doesn't walk a lot and Suarez doesn't walk many batters in general, I do think, once again, you should see a lot of very quick at bats for Washington's batters. They're not going to tend to stretch the pitch clock. And I do think as we're at the pitch uh, count, I mean, and I do think once again, you might see Suarez get through six innings in around 85 pitches, give or take. But with a pitcher who's been this good lately and a pitcher that's gone over this number in six straight starts, this number just seems too low to me. So I'm going to take the overs. Play that once again here for Sunday, July 2nd is going to be on Ranger Suarez over 17 and a half outs recorded at minus 125 on DraftKings. Bye everyone.